name is Natasha and I'm creator of QSISocial.com. I work with real estate agents and I help real estate agents become expert in social media and to generate leads through social Today media. Today I want to talk to you about omnipresence, what it is, how it can work for you, and four reasons every real estate agent should think So you're on Facebook and you're on Instagram and you also do have a website. For, the, for a lot of real estate agents, they think that's it. They have everything covered and there's really absolutely nothing more to social media. Well, let me tell you, this is so far from the truth. If you really want to reach your audience to the fullest, every real estate agent should think. So what is omnipresence? Omnipresence is a term that is not new in marketing world. In real estate, it might be. So what does it mean to be omnipresence? A lot of real estate agents are active in, let's just say, zero to two social media channels, and that's fine. But in order to be absolutely present on social media and also off social media in the offline world, you need to be omnipresent. And that's so exactly why do you need to be omnipresent? There's tons of information that we bombarded every single minute of the day, and that includes on social media as well. So these channels like Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat, uh, what am I missing, YouTube, just to name a few. But there's also, also other channels that are actually being underutilized. These are uh, blogging, podcasting, newsletter. There's actually a lot of the things that people are not, or real estate agents are not fully utilizing. And you know what? In order to be omnipresent and actually be present in front of everybody all the time, you have to utilize as many channels as possible. Yes, it is a work of its own, but you know what? Someone see, you post something, for example, on your social media today, right now, this can be lost within minutes in the newsfeed, in stories, because we are we following a lot of people. And if you post something when people are not engaging, you are lost in that uh, feed as fast as you post it. So it's either you're always spending money to actually boost your post so your audience sees it, or you utilize as many channels as possible just to get to your audience and be seen on so social media. as a real media. estate agent, you might be using zero to two channels or you might be dabbling in a lot of other ones, but, um, you know, are, are you using a newsletter? Uh, have you thought about podcasting? Yes, it might look like a lot of work, but everything, if you have a nice plan, if you have a nice strategy, it sort of all dwindles down to a nice plan. Now, I wanna ask you a quick question. How many of the channels that I listed before are you utilizing? Are you on Facebook and Instagram? Um, are you also incorporating YouTube? Um, are, you, are you sending out a monthly or bi-weekly newsletter? Let me know. Just comment in the comment section below in so under this video. So what are the four benefits of why real estate agents should be omnipresent? Well, the first and foremost, you'll be on the mind of a lot of people. So let's think of this analogy. Um, when you think of a fast food brand, what is the first thing that comes to mind? Probably McDonald's. When you think of a, a brand, a sports brand, what is the first thing that comes to mind? There's a few actually, there's um, Adidas, there's Nike, and there's other ones. And when it comes to real estate, I, I've actually, you know, the funniest thing, I've talked to quite a few real estate agents, and they, when, it, when um, I talk to them about social media, they're like, well, I wanna be like that real estate agent. And I, I always ask them, why do you wanna be th like that real estate agent? They're like, and they tell me, um, well, because they're always on, you know, I always see their posts, I always see their stories, and I know that they're doing so and so many deals per week, per month, per year, whatever, right? So what is the, the, the connecting factor into why they wanna be that real estate agent or that real estate agent? Because they're everywhere and they're always there. Well, that's the whole point. If you're always in front of your audience, on a very consistent basis, people are going to remember you, people are going to know you, and in their mind, they're going to think, well, if I see them all the time, that means he's doing great, that means he can sell my house for the top dollars, or he can buy me the best house that I uh, that I want, because he is so busy and because he's so active. Well, that's the whole thing. You want to be on the mind and in front of your audience on 
every single day, every single minute of the day. Well, I'm sort of exaggerating, but that's the whole analogy of being on. The second the point is sort of tying into the first one. You want, you're going to be the brand power. Your name is going to be recognized and it's going to be associated with a certain area or a certain type of industry, which is really saying that you're in. So you're creating by consistently being in front of your audience, you're creating that brand, you're creating that expertise, you're creating that uh, brand awareness and brand power about yourself and your business because you are the business, right? As a real estate agent, if you're not working in a team, you are the brand and being in front of as many people as possible in as many channels as possible, you are the becoming that brand. Is you're going to be attracting less hagglers. What does that mean by that? Well, if you're in front of a lot of people and you're constantly in front of a lot of people or your ideal audience, um, your social value is going to rise and people are going to see more value in what you do and they're not going to question you now about why you're charging this and why you're doing this and um, why, why am I paying you so much money? Because they know that you are going to be, that you have that social proof and you have that value the about yourself. last thing um, or the last benefit of being omnipresent is about authority. When you constantly post things on social media and you are sort of spread across all the social media channels, A, your things are going to start being shared, B, people are going to start listening to what you have to say and all the advice that you have to give and um, all the tips that you give. So they're going to start sort of listening to um, everything that you put out, A, it's going to be shared, you're going to be quoted, you're going to be invited to all these different things, you're going to be invited to speak, so you're going to be continuously spreading your wings across all the channels and offline and online, and that way, um, aside from being an expert, inside of being a brand and um, social value, creating social value, you're becoming a valuable brand of its own. So people are going to start coming to you rather than you going after people and trying to get listings and trying to follow up. You want to create that sort of revolving uh, door where people constantly come to you. They seek you out instead of you seeking out people. So those are very great four benefits of being an omnipresent, not being an omnipresent, but so being omnipresent. Do, you do this, omni you know, be omnipresent. Well, there's quite a few things and a lot of you are going to think, you know what, this is too much work, it's overwhelming, I have to post here, there, everywhere and post this time here, post at this time here. No, there's actually a softwares out there that are available for you where you can sort of uni unify all of your social media channels and post and schedule things at the same time. One of them is being Hootsuite. Um, it actually works very well. You, upload, you connect all of your social media channels there and you plan your entire posts for weeks to come and have it there. So spend about a few hours a week to um, sort of gather all your information, make sure that it's valuable, make sure that it brings value to your potential clients and and, and sort of schedule it there. Another thing is um, don't be shy uh, when, it, when someone asks you to uh, present uh, at a certain seminar, share your expertise, be a guest speaker at a webinar or be a guest speaker at a, at a seminar. It doesn't matter. You, again, you're spreading your word. Even if it, uh, someone asks you to uh, contribute something to a blog post or contribute something to an article, again, that's also great for you because you're, A, you're being uh, um, named there, your name is being flashed, and also they're all obviously asking you to participate in that blog or uh, contribute to that blog and for, uh, as an expert, which means that then people are going to start viewing, viewing you as an expert. So yes, it, it is a little bit of a tedious work. Again, Facebook groups are great to spread your expertise. Find those groups and share information on a regular basis that don't have to be real estate related. Obviously something that um, uh, something that has to do with your city. So for example, you you live in Mississauga, find Mississauga uh, residents or, or you know some groups that sort of relate to your city where you are, uh, where you do your business in. And that way, uh, by sharing your expertise there, people are going to start viewing you as an expert. So 
think you know if you think that yes it's going to it's going to take so much time out of your day don't think that it just it takes just a little bit of planning a little bit of scheduling and a little bit of strategy and actually following that plan following that strategy and that sort of and over time even within 30 days, you're going to see that this is becoming an autopilot for you. Um, and, and give yourself that 30 day challenge. I always talk about that 30 day challenge. Start doing it today, keep it for 30 days, and you will see that in 30 days, you will, this will be so easy for you to be so omnipresent. I just quickly went through four uh, benefits of being omnipresent. Uh, and I think it, as, a, as a real estate agent, it will benefit you to be uh, an expert and to be everywhere and sort of be in front of people online and offline um, to be part of different things. And uh, I think you will benefit it um, in terms of listings and, and, uh, and buyers and sellers when it comes to your business. So if you like this video, please click the like, like button below. I would like to uh, you to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with all the new things and the new videos that are coming out. Obviously comment um, on the channels that you're utilizing online and offline. I really wanna hear your opinion and I will see you in the next video.